This is the device. We use this in our airsoft games at night. We've kind of outgrown it. I made this pretty quickly on a weekend. It's used for this game mode in airsoft called Domination, which is pretty much like King of the Hill. This goes in the center of the field. The admin turns it on, and when the teams get to this box, they press the button on the box, and the device shows that team's color, either red or blue. The first team to control the point for 16 minutes wins the game. The admin turns the device on and then uses the button to set how many minutes in the game. I said 16, so I think there's 16 lights there. This is the standby mode. This is the countdown mode. And the game starts. And then red team controls the point. Blue team controls the point. We've outgrown this thing. Twice in a game I've accidentally reset the thing because of the power switch is right here. There's buttons on bottom which means when it's placed on a flat surface and someone presses down it, it clicks one of the buttons. There's four of them. The buttons have all also broke off so what I'm doing now is upgrading it. I think what I'm gonna do is use a Raspberry Pi as the brains of this instead of a Arduino. I'm also thinking of making it a multi-purpose device that has different game modes not just domination, but things like Counter-Strike game mode that I've been talking about for years. But This blue briefcase I'm thinking of turning into the device. Coding in the trees. It's like I have a disease. Be those ain't leaves. They're pine needles. This is the Inland Northwest. Here's a prototype for version 2. It's powered by a Raspberry Pi. I've got the general purpose in out pins um, broken out here using this Adafruit thingy. The idea is to have a little display. This is a display from a Nokia phone. It's a monochrome display and it's got a white backlight. Here's two buttons. These are going to be the buttons for each team. Um, green team, and red team. There's also this little siren thing that I was thinking of using. The problem I have with this is that the Raspberry Pi uses a 3.3 3 .3 volt logic level and this thing needs 5 volts to operate. So I was like, oh, no problem, I can just use a, a transistor. But the transistors I have um, also operate on 5 volt logic. So I can't switch the transistor on using the 3.3 volt logic. I thought maybe I'll work around that by instead using a, a speaker output on the Raspberry Pi and connecting these uh, computer speakers to it. I could use those speakers so instead of having a siren I would just have computer speakers that would be really loud. Not sure on that yet. I don't know if they would be loud enough though. I might find some way to shift the logic level from 3.3 volt to 5 volts so I can activate that siren. It would be pretty nice to have that siren. I could make it work either way. I was planning on having computer speakers anyway that would play audio out loud so the players could hear it. Things like five minutes left in the mission, something like that. Here's what I have so far on the graphic user interface. This will mainly be used by the admin. I'm not sure if players will ever see this, but the Raspberry Pi is running a node server. The code that interacts with the the buttons is even running on node. I'm using Cylon.js. Anyway, the this is the interface for the um, domination game mode. There's going to be other game modes, as you can see in this drop down, there's Intel and Bomb. Intel is where, if you play Team Fortress 2, you know this, but it's a case that a team is guarding and the other team has to retrieve the case. Say so something like this, a big briefcase. Um, in Intel mode, we're going to put a bunch of LEDs on this case. And so when you're carrying the case, the case is dark. But if you're shot and you, you're forced to drop the case, then the LEDs would turn on and in a night game, the case would be easily retrievable. Bomb mode is for Counter-Strike, where the terrorists have the bomb and they have to arm it in one of two positions on the field. If you play Counter-Strike, you know what I mean. The bomb has to be armed using a code. There's no keypad yet, but actually I'm out of pins, so I have to figure out something there. If you're in mode domination, then the first thing to get to 15 minutes wins, there's these little progress bars, pretty pretty. Start, pause, and stop game controls for the admin. Um, so the admin can just pull out their phone, go to the IP address of the Raspberry Pi, and they have control of the box, the device. The device. Nothing actually works yet. I'm trying to figure out Marionette, which is uh, powered by Backbone. I'm having a lot of difficulty with that. I'm trying to read this example code, but it's they're using imports like there's no import in JavaScript. How how are they even doing that? I don't I don't I haven't figured it out yet. I'm just wrapping my mind around it is difficult, but I'll get it. I will get it using 
Cloud9, the IDE, and this is JS bin for prototyping interfaces. You can just change the code and the display updates immediately. Another thing with this, these numbers will be a cooler font. They'll be this font. Oh uh, yeah, it's like alarm clock font. I also have these little USB powered rotating lights. They're from Woot, but I actually bought them from eBay. I might try to incorporate these into the device also. Replacing these tiny buttons, I'm going to get some arcade buttons like some 60 millimeter or maybe even 100 millimeter arcade buttons because these are going to get smashed by players when they run up and hit that button. Yep, that's what I'm working on today on this beautiful Monday. <laughs>